I, I class myself as very lucky, to be honest, uh, in the time that I started. Uh, that I started at the start of a bull market in the stock market, which was like one of the biggest bubbles of all time, right? And so I was fortunate enough to start at a very uh, lucky time where I made money relatively easy um, going on, you know, at the, at the start of a bull market. So I invested, and I just started off as an investor. I didn't really start as a trader. I just started investing. And a lot of my investments shot up fairly quickly. I never really experience like holding my investments underwater and that was just out of pure luck right i could have invested at the you know 2007 but i i started at the time where we were bottoming out and starting a bull market so i never actually experienced massive drawdowns what i did experience was profits and then losing profits which it which you know emotionally and psychologically is, is not the same if you're if you're losing profits it's it's never as hard as you know being actually physically underwater so yeah, for, for me to then transition, then basically when I started to get those drawdowns was when I started to think to myself, like, you know, I don't want to see my investments go, go drawdowns or what are the reasons for this? And then it was trying to, you know, get into the realms of, I didn't even really under, know what technical analysis was, but I started to, you know, see different things. And I, I basically educated myself of reading loads of books, watching different things and just piecing it all together. And, you know, I, you know, I think... I, know, I never went onto this place where I was taught all these different things X, Y, and Z. It was it was kind of um, taking methods that were, were were well known. Let's say like Fibonacci. That's a well known. You know, I, you know that's just well known. And so it was like taking Fibonacci, ta you know, taking different tools, and then just going straight into the wild at it, and and worth seeing for myself what worked, what didn't work, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I could adjust. And at the whole time, I was personally just. Uh, you know, writing a journal, what what was working for myself, what wasn't what wasn't working, and then um, yeah, then I well, I was keeping it fairly simple in stocks. To be honest, I was using things like just RSI, MACD, and to be honest, you could I could say you know was it the tools, or was I just really lucky in the market? Right, I think all I ever had to do was long, and I'd have made money. So was it back then? You know, I was just extremely lucky at the time I started. I think because. Yeah, I, I was keeping it so simple, but just making money because it, we were in an extreme bull market. And um, yeah, but obviously when I was trading, I didn't really know what I was doing at the start. So I was winning, losing, 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 winning, losing, losing. And then over time, it was just, you know, every time I'd take a loss, I would, I was taking it really seriously from the get go. Because for me, I wasn't trading with a lot of money, but for me, that was like all my money. So I'm a person that's, you know, <laughs> I look after like literally every single pound. I don't, I don't really like to spend or waste any of my money so I, I was really mad whenever i'd lose any amount of money so i was really you know why have i lost this trade uh, and really scrutinize everything that i'd done on that trade and then it was just a process of you know win a trade lose a trade what went wrong on that trade what what didn't i like what was the reason of losing that and over the over the over time it was then just building into like more of a strategy and it really was quite simple when i was in the stock markets it was just like <laughs> fibonacci rsi macd uh, yeah, put in a bit of EMAs and it was relatively simple. And um, yeah, then for, for me to get like profitable, it took about, yeah, two, two and a half years. Um, but I do think that my, my, my speed was like sped up to go so fast into it so quick because of the market conditions. Um, obviously, the, the now the market conditions are obviously w a lot different. But I do think now we also have a lot better tools than what I used back then. So... Um, you know, it's, it's like a trade-off. Like now, you know, the market conditions are more bearish, but, you know, back, back then I wouldn't even short. All I wanted to do was long, but the market conditions were so bullish. And now, actually, we have market conditions where, you I know, mean, if we know how to short a market, then you can actually make just as much money, or, you know, just the same, like with, with, with the drops. So I think the market conditions are different than they were back then. But, um, you know, now there's more tools and there's more advantages in that regards as well. So, um, yeah, but to answer your question, for me, yeah, to get profitable, it took, took about two, two and a half years.